Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with a Get Ready With Me. So this video is dedicated to my friend Chelsea. I just bought her some of my favorite makeup products for her birthday, and she's someone that doesn't wear a lot of makeup or makeup very often, and so she's like, girls, you need to like show me how to do this or apply it. But she lives in Seattle and I live in Indiana, so no time soon can I tell her how to apply it. So I thought, hey, I make YouTube videos, I make it ready with me, I will make this video for her and it will benefit everybody. Okay, so the products that I got her was the Butter Bronzer. This is my favorite, but also everybody else's favorite. I got us, well, I've been using the one in light, so that's the one that I bought her. The other thing I bought was the Essence Pure Highlight. This one is in Be My Highlight. Next, I got her the Essence Satin Blush. This one is in 20 Satin Love. I got her two butter bronzers, but I don't remember exactly which ones I bought her, but this particular one is Fortune Cookie. It's a very pretty nude color. I love the formula on this, and it's very consistent through all the colors. Um, and then I bought my favorite mascara, which is the Essence Lash Princess. This coral colored one is way better than the blue one in my opinion. This is my all time favorite mascara. It did come, um, she got for free the I Love Extreme Mascara. I have not used this one myself, but, um, it says crazy volume. <laughs> Anyways, the mascara I'll use in this video is the Essence Lash Princess in the blue. Just because this one's already open, I have not opened this particular bottle of mascara. I will, of course, use other products because this will be a full face of makeup. So you can kind of pick and choose. The way that I'm going to apply this makeup is what I have found has worked for me. So this will be a talk through. I'm going to cake it on the way that works for me. Go ahead and take whatever layers of it you want. Do it the same. Change it up. Uh, just whatever works. <laughs> so if you want to see how to go from this to what my after looks like, which you should be looking at right now, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right, it is very hot in my house. I was just cleaning, and so I just feel like kind of, you know, summertime's coming. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cat ears on to get my hair out of my face. I am drinking La Croix. Do you guys drink this stuff? My favorite is the orange flavored, but it's always hard to find. Mm, love it. So Everything in this video will be affordable except for my primer and my setting spray. I just don't at the moment have an affordable version. So we're going in with the Laura Mercier. This is the hydrating foundation primer. I go ahead and put it on my fingers. It is um, like a lotion-y type product and just work it into all of my skin. It feels like lotion going on. For foundation, I'm going in with the Neutrogena Hydro... Boost Hydrating Tint Foundation. This one is in 40 Nude. I really, really like this application. It has a wand. And what I find is I have to kind of put a layer on my face and then go over it again after I blend it out. I will be blending it out with the Beauty Blender. So I just put a lot all over. You'll see you have to kind of go in and out of the product a few times to completely cover your face. I have very dry skin. Um, my friend Chelsea has oily skin, so this product probably would not work the best for her. She probably wants to get something that is a little bit more mattifying. Um, I know like the L'Oreal one with the black in the black and clear too with the red white writing the infallible that one's very popular she doesn't wear foundation <laughs> ever really so you can go ahead and skip foundation if it's not your thing and just jump right into concealer but I do like to wear foundation every day just because I find the products sit really nicely on top and that's how I can get my products to stay for like 15 hours <laughs> get on my lip and then I just add it onto my cheek area and then press it into my skin. Next for concealer, I'm going in. This is a NYX product. It's the Dark Circle Corrector in Light. And I'm going to put it underneath my eyes as well as on my eyeshadow so that it is an eyeshadow base. And I like to get kind of in the corners right here 
and blend it out, taking it all the way pretty much around the eye. Once I have that just sitting on my face from the brush, I'm going to take my beauty blender and press it all the way into my skin. Make sure to pressing it in on the eyelid as well. I always look up to try to tap out any creases. Let me look in my mirror. Alright, so that is the foundation and concealer and of course the primer. My face is feeling so tacky and I hate that feeling so I always set it. Recently I've been doing a loose powder underneath my eyes and kind of in my T-zone and then a pressed powder for the rest of my face. I find a loose powder all over my dry skin. It kind of just feels tight, like sucks the moisture out. So this is the number 7 uh, loose powder in Translucent. And I do really enjoy this. This is an affordable brand that you can get at um, Ulta and Target. So I'm going to take... A unicorn brush! This is the Tarte, one of the Tarte unicorn brushes that came, um, well you bought it, I bought it in a set, but I'm going to take this, tap it off, woo, and then press it underneath my eye and also on top of my eye. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. I've been using this powder for a couple of weeks and I do really enjoy it. Um, I was using the Laura Mercier, Mercier um, loose translucent powder before this so definitely not the same product which I mean I wouldn't expect them to be the same but it is so different going from such a finely milled powder to one that is um not so finely milled it's nice it's really nice but it's just not comparable we're gonna go in with the maybelline maybelline fit me this is in 125 new beige this is the set and smooth they do have a matte one that would be good if you have dry skin um but this set and smooth one is really nice. I think it's a really nice product for both the price and the drugstore. One of my favorite powders, I think, at this point. I always like trying out the new one or different ones, so I don't know. <laughs> I always like them when I use them. I don't think I've really used the powder from the drugstore that I was disappointed with. Um, the drugstore products right now are so good that it's like. I'll be eyeing a really expensive high-end product, and then I'm like, or I can buy something that is literally a third of the price and just be as happy with it. It just might not be something that's very hyped at the moment on YouTube. So, everything is set. We're going to go in and use the bronzer next. I just applied the Jack Black lip gloss or lip balm. This one is in Natural Mint and Shea Butter. This is $7.50 at Ulta, and I really, really like those lip balms. Alright, now we're going in with the butter bronzer. This again is in the color light. I love the smell and as you can see I have a pretty good dip in mine but I love using the Real Techniques multitask brush for any type of bronzer so I just kind of really pile on the bronzer and tap it off and then I like to stamp it just underneath my cheekbones right there just to get the product exactly where I want it and then I will go in with circular motions and without lifting the brush off my face circle it to my forehead and then to my jawbone and then I will run it up and down my nose alright and I'm going to again get more product on the brush tap it off again place it right where I want it and I am just like dabbing so like the brush is literally coming off my skin and then I take the swirl and that's where it stays on my face the whole time. I do not lift it off and I move it all the way down to my chin and then rub it on my neck. This is just to give like seamless blending. Like right now I do go in again um, and tap it just to intensify because this is a very natural looking bronzer. I don't necessarily do this with all my bronzers, but with this one in particular, 
One of the nice things about it that I think people like about it is it's very buildable and you're not going to get like this intense look um, the, like at first application. You kind of have to build up to it if you want it to look intense. Mm hmm get it. I love it. All right. So next we're going to go in with blush. I'm going to use my um, It by Ulta blush brush. Anything from Real Techniques is really good, but I just washed my brushes, so this is what I have washed at the moment. And so we're going in with the Essence Satin Blush. This is in 20 Satin Love. Love, 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 love this. And it's so easy to use. I just tap my brush into it, tap it off. And then I do the same thing where I kind of just dab it on my cheek just to get the pigment there. And then I will um, buff it in a little bit. Trying to keep it above, like, above the bronzer but not too high up. And then just kind of on the apples of the cheeks back. Same thing on the other side. Tap it on. And then I will go ahead and swirl it on again. You want to start about here and keep it like above the bronzer but below the cheekbone. Yay! Okay. And then we're going to go in with the highlight. I thought I had bought her this NYX Dual Chrome and Lavender Steel. I must have put it in the cart and taken it out. But this is just a really, really fun highlight that if you're looking to explore with highlights, this is so cool. This particular one in the range uh, is more wearable, but um, since that's not what I bought her, I bought her the Essence Pure Nude. This one again is 10 Be My Highlight. I like to take the Real Technique setting brush and I really like swirl it into any of my highlights and then tap it off and then barely, the brush barely touches the skin as I brush it on. I take it on the tops of my cheek and then I'll do like a C motion where it comes above my eyebrows and I'll even run it a little bit on the tops of my eyebrows. Again, barely, barely barely touching the skin the full time and you can see it building oh it's so gorgeous taking it up to make that C and then in the the brow and I think the nice thing about all these products the bronzer blush and this particular highlight is they are so subtle but they're so buildable just like I was saying the butter bronzer like just go back in and build it up a little bit more take it back in the same formation oh my god you could like build this one you could just sit here and do this for like 10 minutes and it's only going to get better and better <laughs> and then i do take it on my nose and then my cupid's bow and this one i have been known to take a stippling brush and just like ch -ch 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 all over my face absolutely love it for simplicity, for eyeshadow, I'm going to use what we use on our face. Um, so I'm going to go back into the butter bronzer. And I'm also going to grab a nice big crease brush. This one again is the uh, one by It by Ulta. Like every, all the writing has worn off. I've used it and had it for so long. But again, anything from Real Techniques would work. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in for the eyes. There we go. So I'm just going to swirl it in. Getting a lot of product on the brush, but then also tapping it out. I'm going to run this both on the lid, doing circular motions and in the crease, just to add some definition. We're not going to get too crazy here. Um, circular motions, and just like the highlight, the brush is barely touching my eyelid. And we're going to keep doing that a couple of times just to build up that pigment. And we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. We're going to try to do maybe two layers of product. And then I'm also going to take the blush and use this. I'm going to wipe my brush off on a paper towel. But we're going to go in with this blush and we're going to add it into the crease um, just to add a little more depth. And I'll do this a lot, like especially if I'm painting project products for a project. I will use whatever product, if it's like a face product, in my eyes as well as my face just to multi-use it because, I mean, ultimately the face powders, 
they can be used anywhere. Same with eyeshadows. I've used eyeshadows as highlights. I mean, you don't have to use things as they're marketed, basically. Alright, and then I'm going to take the Essence Pure Nude with my finger. And we're going to just tap it on the lid. I'm going to take that brush again without any additional product and just kind of clean the edges of that. And then I'm going to take another brush with no product on it and just really work on the edges to make sure it is all blended out. And for brows, we're going to use the, this is the Milani Easy Brow. This does have fibers in it and is in color 01 Soft Brown. Just going to run that through my brows for basically to groom them and to add a little bit of definition. I've been using the Benefit Gimme Brow for about a month now and I really do enjoy it. But um, it's good to give drugstore products some love because a lot of them are really good, especially currently. I'm going to stop there. Sometimes I will take the, um, what is this? <laughs> the L'Oreal Brow Stylus in Burnett. Well, actually, maybe I'll just take it a little bit more so at the ends. And then it's really important to go through and brush it out. I did, okay, I did two things off camera. The first thing I did was I sprayed my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray all over my face. I'm a big believer in good primers and good sprays. That That's like the trick. Like anything in between that can be whatever as long as you have a good primer and a good setting spray. Not to say they have to be expensive, but they have to be something that really works well with your skin. So I went ahead and set that, and you can see that highlight is really, really popping. I mean, this is a $5 highlight, legit. And then I went ahead and put on the Lash Princess. Again, this is the one in the blue tube. I put two coats on. I don't really like this one that much, mostly because it transfers to my top lid by the end of the day. This one with the coral lid does not do that to me. So, um, I don't know, but it does look beautiful on the lashes. Like, it separates them very nicely. Um, the transferring is just too much for me, but, um, it might not do that too, but anyways, the vi very final product is a butter gloss. It doesn't matter which one you use, it's just a color that is to your preference. The formula is the same across the board. I've used so many of these, um, but this particular one, like I said in the beginning, is fortune cookie. It's a very pretty nude color. I'm going to go ahead and apply it. Oh, I got all my teeth to the lips. Alright everyone, that is the final look. Um, hopefully it was pretty easy to follow. Mostly affordable. Um, Chelsea, I hope you enjoyed this. Everyone else, I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you haven't tried any of the products that I mentioned in this video, 100% recommend them. I mean this highlight. $5. Five, five, five dollars. Come on now. I'll zoom you into the eyes. Super simple. Um, I mean you watched me do it. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, like, let me know by giving it a like, subscribing, and maybe a comment down below. It's, if it's not too much, I'm kind of asking a lot. But anyways, I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!